Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Selner, uh, your nose and throat doctor, and I'm about to perform an in-office balloon sinuplasty with inferior turbinate reduction. All right, so just like we did before, you're gonna feel that camera slide into there. So we're looking at the inside of the nose, and we have a tissue here on the lateral side, or on the side of the nose, that's gonna help uh, block some of the openings that go into the sinus cavities. So you're gonna feel a little bit of pressure. I'm gonna move that tissue over. You might even hear a little noise, a little crack, or a little pop. Good. Get that to work for us. Now take the balloon. And now I'm gonna slide that in with the camera. And I'm gonna slide into that side area where you just felt that instrument go. So a little bit of pressure. So again, it's gonna be a little dark and you may feel a little bit of movement of that little cord as it slides up inside uh -huh. the sinus. And you're gonna feel me touch and move and touch and move until I get where I need to be. So a little bit of pressure again. I'm gonna slide up just a little bit higher. And we are getting a little feedback from the screen, but I'm seeing a flash in your forehead. So I think that we're inside that sinus, so I'm gonna advance the balloon, and after it's in, Julie's gonna inflate it. So here comes that little bit of pressure that we talked about. And when it finally, or when it does inflate, again, you'll feel that little bit of pressure in that sinus like we talked about. Mm -hmm. But as soon as it's inflated, she's gonna deflate that balloon, and I'm gonna take it right back out again. All right, there we go. Now the balloon's coming out. Okay, and that sinus is done. Yeah. We'll see if we need to move this tissue over. Okay, this one's pretty uh -huh. lateralized already. You're gonna feel a little bit of pressure as I slide up into that area. Yeah. We got that. So now I'm gonna advance the balloon. Uh -huh. Julie's gonna inflate the balloon. Oh yeah, you heard a little crunch right there. That's okay. That's the tissue moving out of the way. Balloon's coming back out. Wire's coming out. Now we're going to slide behind that same tissue. Going to tuck behind there. We're going to advance the, the light cord. Should again see a glowing spot on the cheek, which we do. Going to advance the balloon. Mm. Maybe just a little tight. Going to slide out. Take some of that pressure off. Julie's going to inflate the balloon now. Can feel a little bit of pressure again. Mm -hmm. and she's all done. Balloon comes out. Off the guide wire. Now that left cheek sinus is done. Slide in here. We're gonna move the tissue out of the way just like we did on the other side. Slide into the back. I'm gonna advance the balloon. Confirm it it's in your cheek and it is. Got a nice light on the outside. We're gonna advance the balloon. And Julie again is going to inflate. Okay. Great. And everything's out. So here's uh, some open sinuses from a previous surgery that he had done in the ethmoid sinuses, or the sinuses between the eyes. Can't quite get around the corner to show you inside the, the maxillary sinus. You get a quick, quick little picture down in the corner showing that the sinus is open, but I can't get around the corner to see. All right, we're gonna come out of that side. So we're gonna slide into the nose. We're gonna slide into that tissue. It's on the side wall. I'm gonna move that over so I can get a better look. bit of pressure. I'm sure you heard a little bit of noise there. Mm -hmm. But again, even on this right side, we're going to go for this lower opening, and that's again going to be the opening that we just did for the balloon into the cheek. Again, open, clear, can see partially inside the sinus. The sinus itself looks great. And I'm not going to be able to get the correct angle to look up. But that completes the surgery at least for the balloon portion. So the portion of the surgery that we're gonna do now 
is going to be the shrinking what's called the turbinate, which is along the floor on each side of your nose. It's this pink tissue that's really showing on the screen now. His is pretty, his is shrunk at this point because of some medicine we used to numb him up before the procedure. But as you can see, it runs the whole way from the front of the nose to the back of the nose. So we're going to do a little procedure that uh, uh, uses uh, some, uh, we uses a technology that will cause scar tissue to form inside that tissue and causes it to shrink on itself. So when we go to do this, I, ex I pretty much expect you to feel nothing. Some people can feel a little bit of warmth, some people can feel a slight little shock type feeling, but it's very mild. Every time I go to do it, I'm gonna put it in the tissue and I'm gonna say, okay, here we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step on the pedal and you're gonna hear this. At 10 seconds, I start to count 10 seconds in my head. Once 10 seconds is up, I'm done and I come out. If for some reason you don't like the way it feels, you tell me, I'll stop immediately and come out. Okay? Okay. Going right in the front part of the tissue right here. And here comes your first 10 seconds. How'd you do with that one? That's a great smell. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sometimes what you can even do is when I say, okay, here we go, just take a little bit of a deep breath because you only have to hold it for 10 seconds. When I'm done, you can just go and just okay. blow it out. That's okay. Okay. So we're going to repeat that, but I'm going to go right behind the area where I was at. Okay. This next area. 10 seconds. Very good. All right, just gonna take a look on that left side, see if there's anything else we need to do. I am. I'm going to get one other spot over here, right in the tissue right there, and here come your 10 seconds. Great. Okay, and that's it for the left side. Now the right. Go ahead and turn your head towards me, Jim. That's great. That's perfect. First area. Ten seconds. Good. Doing all right? Hi. Good. I felt that a little bit more, but it's okay. Okay. I'm actually going to come in front of that area. Mm -hmm. Right here, 10 seconds. This time we're just going to look. We'll see if there's anything else I need to do. Okay. I got the two main areas that were causing the majority of your obstruction. Now that side looks good. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that camera back in there. We'll see if we can get a good idea. Because we decongested you so much for the uh, balloon procedure, sometimes it's difficult to see the major change that you get. But instead of just the decongestant working to open you up, this should give you the scar tissue which should hold you open now and I know it's difficult to see but that area right there is right where I went in with the probe to do one of the 
reductions. You can see a little bit more of a change in the back back there. But that should all shrink up nicely. Same thing on the right. Got you once right here at the very front of the nose. And then the second one was done right there. So again, very minimal, but you can leave him with scar tissue to help hold that tissue to the lateral side of the nose. Good. All right, looks great. We're all done. So now that we're done, uh, you are free to pretty much do anything that you want. You can blow your nose gently. Don't want any real hard blows because that could lead to some nasal bleeding. But other than that, just keep it moist with some nasal saline. We have a nebulizer that we're going to have you use to help calm down any inflammation inside the sinuses. And I'm going to see you back in a couple weeks to monitor your progress. Okay.